some breaking news in the skinny this morning with President Obama appearing on late night TV. The commander in chief appeared last night on The Tonight Show, slow jamming the news and bemoaning the fact that he was once a high tech guy when he first got into the White House. Now, the president said he was proud to be the first president ever to carry a Blackberry. And finally, this year, the White House issued him his first smartphone. Hmm. But it wasn't quite as smart as he was hoping. I get the thing, and they're all like, well, Mr. President, for security reasons, uh, th there's a great phone, state of the art, but uh, it doesn't take pictures. Uh, you can't text. The phone doesn't work. Uh, you know, you can't play your music on it. So, so basically, it's, it's like, does your three year old have one of those play phones? <laughs> It's got like it's got like the stickers on it. Yeah, so you're all like, <laughs> I'm gonna call Minnie Mouse. I'm gonna Hi. call Minnie Mouse. Oh, Minnie Mouse, Hi. are you there? Your yeah. imaginary friend. <laughs> That's more, mostly the phone I've got. One more example. President Obama also said that the first thing he's going to do when he leaves office is get some sleep. Oh, what's that? You would think he'd get like a real iPhone. Maybe that too. That as well. Also appearing last night on The Tonight Show was the Queen of Pop. Madonna was apparently so thrilled to cross paths with the president backstage that she found herself a little starstruck. Madonna she shared two starstruck. photos of her encounter with the president on Instagram, captioning one of them, for once, I'm speechless. That's a pretty cool moment. But she did manage to find words for this one, a meeting of the Leos. A cosmic convergence. We talked about birthdays and everything. Uh huh. Now, according to another photo that she shared of the president and the first lady, the feeling is apparently mutual. Oh, look at them decked out. That is very cool. All right, next up, Justin Bieber gets in trouble again with his fists again. Uh, Bieber was outside a, a hotel in Cleveland after game three of the NBA Finals when he got into a shoving match with a guy that was five foot tall, as Mark said, twice his height. Ooh. So TMZ obtained this video. The shoving match escalated into Bieber throwing a flurry of punches and the guy almost effortlessly slamming him to the ground before bystanders pulled them apart. And the guy's massive. Yeah. Some witnesses say Bieber was getting bombarded with requests for photographs, which could have sparked the fight. Now, apparently trying to save face, the Biebs posted his Instagram picture the next day with the caption, not a scratch on this pretty boy. And under another photo, he writes, no hesitation. And he's really good friends with Floyd Mayweather. And I got to say, just in that, like, five second... He's done some boxing as well. Yeah, in that five second clip, he landed more punches than Floyd <laughs> and Pacquiao did in that glorified fight no last one, year. No one hitting anybody, Nobody, right? no. The thing is, I wonder how many people just mess with Justin Bieber all the time. Oh, I would. I mean, God knows what happened leading up Jack to that. It. And I can't imagine. The patience level has to run thin at some point. Yeah. Okay, finally, to a much classier photo from across the lake. And this was certainly no Instagram selfie. Kensington Palace has released the final portrait in a series that was taken to celebrate Queen Elizabeth's 90th birthday. And this was taken by famed photographer Annie Leibowitz. Now, and it is just in time for Prince Philip's 95th birthday, which is today. We're seeing him pose with his bride of 68 years. The portrait was taken at Windsor Castle just after Easter. All right. And of up. course, it's a big party weekend for them. Are in they going to have dancing so, horses for Prince Philip? Uh, and for the Queen. No, this is their big weekend. Sorry, glad you turned 95. Still celebrating my yeah, birthday. Yeah, so, so me.